All right, everyone, welcome to the second episode of Making a Cheap Guitar Awesome. We're going to be breaking down the BC Rich Warlock Bronze series here. And uh, here's the body and the neck and the headstock, which will look radically different. We'll also be doing our truss rod cover this episode. To break it down, I figured I'd make some breakdown music. Alright, so I took the frets off. I just rolled them up in some duct tape this time. They're all in order. Normally I make a little holder for them and number them all, but didn't think it was necessary. Trying to get this done. So for our truss rod cover, we're going to go ahead and trace around on a piece of uh, zebra wood, I believe. And this is just the veneer. Cut that out with a razor blade since it's thin enough that we're able to do that. There's the finished cut. And we're cutting out a piece of quarter inch Luan birch that I've traced the pattern on and that's going to be glued together. And after it's all glued, I will uh, sand this down and make it thinner. It definitely won't be that thick. But you just get more control over it if you keep it thick at first. And then you can see we're gluing it down here. And then we're going to clamp it up with some ridiculously oversized clamps but they do the job well. There you go. Leave that for, I think I left it for six hours. That's some mother of pearl. We're gonna be cutting the, my lo studio logo, uh, the Forsyth F. We're cutting the circle out of that. I sized it up to make sure it would fit properly on the truss rod cover. This is just a circle guide. We're gonna go ahead and find the uh, inner and outer diameter. This simple little piece of plastic makes life so much easier. I think everybody needs to get four or five of these. I'm just going to go ahead and trace the inner circle. All right. You have to drill a hole through the mother of pearl to insert the saw blade through. It's just a coping saw. And there you see it right there. I'm going ahead and filing out to a perfect circle the inside first because it's a lot easier to do that before you cut the ring. So there's the ring cut out. I'd also glued together some uh, abalone to make my little F out of and insert that in there. So there you go. You see that? And I'm skipping the actual inlay process because I'm doing that on the neck video. So here's a little preview of that. You just chisel out your design and then you hit it with the Dremel and finish with the chisel. But we'll get into that later. So here we are, a ton of clear coat with sanding in between and a ton of polishing later. It came out looking really nice, I'm pretty happy with it. It's very smooth. I went from uh, 600 all the way up to 3000 grit paper and then a medium fine cutting polish and then a very fine cutting polish. It came out looking like that. So in the next video, we'll get into the headstock and I'll show you what this thing is going to be mounted on to cover the truss rod and then the neck and body. So thanks guys. Appreciate you watching.